من امام مبنى الامم المتحده بنيويورك حظيت اجتماعات الجمعيه العامه للامم المتحده باهتمام وسائل الاعلام العالميه والعربيه واولى الاهتمامات التي حظيت بها كانت كلمه الرئيس المصري عبد الفتاح السيسي وكلمه الرئيس الامريكي دونالد ترامب On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor to welcome to the United Nations His Excellency Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, and invite him to address the Assembly. Thank you, Mr. President. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, Mr. President, Miroslav Lacek, President of the General Assembly, Allow me at the outset to congratulate you for assuming the presidency of the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly. I wish you all the success in carrying out your duties. I also seize this opportunity to express the utmost appreciation to Mr. Peter Thompson, the president of the 71st session of the UN General Assembly, who has most ably overseen the work of the session. Mr. President, Every time we meet at this august body, we rekindle the hopes and aspirations of the peoples whom we are honored to represent and serve, to provide them with peace and development. New generations look up to us to realize their dreams for a decent life within a fair international order, a global order that can face challenges such as climate change, natural disasters, diseases, and epidemics, as well as other man-made crises, such as wars, terrorism, and the huge discrepancies in the distribution of resources and development opportunities. It is evident that the purposes and principles of the United Nations are still valid as a basis for a world that offers everyone an opportunity to benefit from the great strides in scientific advancement economic development, as well as the data revolution which has brought societies ever more closer in an unprecedented manner. These developments offer great potential for establishing a fair and secure international order that is based on the right to development, freedom and progress and open interactions between people. In Egypt, we adamantly believe in the values of the United Nations and the purposes of its charter. We have great confidence that realizing these values is not only possible, but rather an obligation and a necessity. Egypt's long-standing involvement with the UN, both as a founding member of the United Nations that has been elected to the Security Council six times, and the seventh largest contributor to peacekeeping operations worldwide, this involvement bears witness to our constant strive to build a world that is worthy of the aspirations of our children and grandchildren, to live in freedom, to live in freedom, dignity, security, and prosperity. However, the responsibility that we bear necessitates that we be frank in saying that this world that we seek which is possible, still remains unfortunately far from reality. We are still unable to prevent armed, armed conflict or confront, confront terrorism or disarm nuclear weapons and address the structural imbalances in the international economic order, which have widened the gap between the developed and developing worlds. Based on the experiences of the African and Arab regions, I can state with a clear conscience that these experiences summarize the current crisis of the international order and its inability to deliver on the goals of this organization. The Arab region, Egypt's civilizational and cultural milieu, has today become an epicenter for some of the most vicious civil conflicts in recent human history. It is the most vulnerable region to the dangers posed by terrorism. One out of every three refugees in the world today is an Arab, and the Mediterranean Sea has become a conduit for irregular migrants from Asian and African states who are fleeing the scourge of civil strife 
as well as the despair of economic and social hardships. This is reflected in the Arab Regional Report on Multidimensional Poverty conducted by the League of Arab States in collaboration with the United Nations. On behalf of the General Assembly, I wish to thank the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt for the statement just made.